Shalom Bracha, sisters and brothers, how are you doing? I'm thinking to myself, like so many of us in so many places in our lives, we're, we desire the good, we want the good, and life is like pulling us to the sides, like so many times, and it's very not easy, it's very complex to focus, to set your mind to the truth, and and always to keep on pushing the wagon up the hill. And when it pulls you down the hill, down the road, you need to run and chase all those fruits that fell off your basket and try to collect them and pick them up. It's not always easy and sometimes can be very, very hard. We're dealing with questions and with doubts and tests in faith situations that can be very, very, very complex for a normal person to deal with. Deep emotional stress and, and doubts about our feelings and inner questions and, 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 and we're finding evidence for, lack, for our lack of faith. It's very not easy. It might be very, very stressful, but a person must set his mind and focus his thoughts on his past experiences and to remind himself of the illuminating moments, times and days that went in his life, that took place in his life and to remind himself of the glory and the greatness of the light that he felt and experienced himself in days of joy and in moments of success and to pull that light from those shiny spots that you had in your past to today's challenges and to pull that light in such a meaningful and powerful way that will impact and inspire your mind to come closer and closer to the Creator in a solid, balanced and stabilized way that you will build and stabilize and find, dig out the real true faith and not that you have inside yourself that you will believe based on your own life experience and not because people tell you to believe or told you that there is God above, just that you will stabilize your own faith, settling your own mind based on your own life experience, reminding yourself of your true spiritual experiences simple and honest thoughts that you had, amazing understandings and clarifications that you had in your past, wonders and miracles that you experienced and you saw in your life, and bring and pull them back from darkness, from the exile of your past, to today's present time of, of your life, to the existing reality that you're experiencing today, and remind yourself of the glory and great, greatest greatness of the Creator, of the light that is shining upon you from within. Remind yourself of who you are, who you truly are, a shiny portion of heaven from above. Chelek Eloka Mimal, a beautiful child of the Creator, His light. His being on earth, His existence on earth. You're a walking, godly creation and bless you. The highest and most powerful way to express your godliness, the light of your spirit and soul, is through the simple, honest, individual prayer that is called Hit Bodhidut, to talk to the Creator like you talk to your best friend just to tell him, Father in heaven, today I almost forgot the fact you exist. Let me talk to you. Let me sense you. Let me feel you. 
Let me know you're with me. Make this day bright for me and for all my loved ones. Let me be happy that I won't back off, that I won't give up, that I will remember you and be able to remind myself of you and remind all my loved ones with your existence and endless love. Love with no limits, with no borders. Innocent, pure love between a parent to his child. And may all our prayers accepted be accepted and answered in no time. And more than that, I don't have anything else to say right now. Bless you and your good heart. Amen.